You know what, guys? I would actually like to believe that the American people really aren't stupid. I'm going to say it. the American people aren't stupid. OK, yes, there's definitely some people out there that will believe whatever the media tells them to believe. There are definitely some Trump deranged people out there. But I do believe overall, man, that the American people are smart enough to not listen to the mainstream media. Folks, the rhetoric of the Democratic Party, their politicians. That's the main reason I believe that President Trump has had not one, but two assassination attempts on his life. It's pretty clear, guys. I mean, within two months, two people trying to take out President Trump. Of course, in the first assassination attempt, uh, Trump actually got hit in the ear. Another person died. Two other people got injured. But in the latest attempt uh, yesterday, thank God, nobody died. Nobody died. Uh, local police, I believe um, Sheriff's Department actually uh, caught uh, the second person to try and assassinate um, President Trump. He actually has now gotten charged uh, on a state level, I believe. But uh, I'm pretty sure that federal charges are going to be coming. But folks, why is this happening? It is happening because these Democrat politicians, man, they go out there and they pretty much call for violence. You guys remember on uh, Maxine Waters, right? This was back, I believe, in like uh, 2018, 2019. She actually told people to get into the face. If you actually see anyone from Trump's cabinet in a restaurant. A gasoline station. She was very, very loud and she was talking to everyday people. She wanted you to get into their faces. And we know, folks, that, le that the left is very, very violent, man. I mean, the left lost their minds when President Trump got elected in um, 2016. They lost their minds. Everybody talks about January 6, 2021. But in May of 2020, the left actually tried to storm the White House. Remember, Trump actually had to go down uh, to the bunker. He went out and the left also, I believe they burnt down the church or there was definitely a fire at the church across the street. President Trump goes across the street, has his Bible, raised the Bible. What did the media say? Oh, he was there for a photo op. Not condemning the left. The media is perfectly OK with the left burning down cities. You guys remember um, during the summer of blood, CNN on the air, a huge fire behind the reporter. He said it was fiery, but mostly peaceful. Yeah, nobody's buying it, guys. Nobody's buying it. However, guys, we need to talk about uh, Comrade Kamala, though. Kamala Harris actually went on to the Ellen show back in 2018. What did she say? Well, I'm glad you asked. On the Ellen show, she was actually joking about killing President Trump. And boy, that was a huge cackle, folks. Huge cackle. Now, this is definitely going to be a lengthy video. We kind of like changing things up here on this channel, trying to do longer segments, you know, so we can actually uh, get more details on stuff. OK, so make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you watch on Rumble, click the join button to get access to the same thing. And everyone can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals, both for just $5 per month. The links are in the description. So we appreciate these support guys. So here we go. Right here. Flashback. Kamala Harris joked about killing Donald Trump. Yes, on the Ellen show. I know some people are going to say, hey, Ellen's a comedian. But remember, this rhetoric here is what leads to assassination attempts on President Trump. This just hasn't been going on in 2024. The left has been calling President Trump all kind of names. Really, since 2016. Going on eight years, guys. So an eight year buildup 
of calling for violence. Guess what? They went and burn your cities down in 2020. They didn't stop Trump. Trump now more powerful than ever. They know that sending the millions out there on the streets is not going to work. So now they're trying to take out Trump. Scary times of living in folks. Very, very scary times. Look at this. It says Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris joked about killing President Donald Trump. During his term in office, during a 2018 appearance on the Ellen show. Ellen DeGeneres. She also made the joke about then Vice President Mike Pence and Attorney uh, General Jeff Jeff, uh, Sessions. Now, I'm wondering, did the uh, Secret Service have some words with Kamala Harris, even though this is supposed to be a joke? I mean, you even had uh, Madonna talking about, I've had uh, dreams about uh, blowing up the White House, right? Yes, this is Kamala Harris vocalizing about fantasizing about killing President Trump. Listen in. If you had to be stuck in an elevator with either President Trump, Mike Pence, or Jeff Sessions, who would it be? Does one of us have to come out alive? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. That cackle, folks. That cackle. She thought that was a laughing matter. She really did think that was a laughing matter right there. Wow. And now, flash forward, guys. This is pre-2020, pre-George uh, Floyd, pre-BLM burning down the streets and everything, Antifa. And now, there's actual people trying to assassinate President Trump. Now, folks, we have 50 days until the election. 50 days. And folks, President Trump still needs to campaign. And when uh, November comes here, that will probably be at the height of danger for President Trump. Election day going to be very, very dangerous, in my opinion, for President Trump, because I believe he's winning. I believe Kamala Harris knows that he's winning. The Democrats know that he's winning. Forget these national polls talking about uh, Kamala Harris up um, one point or whatever. There's another one said that she's up five. She's not up five points. OK, she's not. They know that Kamala Harris is in real trouble. And what would actually happen, guys, if um, the left actually succeeds in assassinating President Trump? I don't believe that Kamala Harris is still win the election. I don't think that would happen. If they actually successfully assassinate President Trump before Election Day, I believe it's going to backfire on the Democrats, man. I believe that America is going to be furious. And I believe right now, guys, President Trump is just going to rise in the polls. He's going to rise in the polls, folks. Look here. Trump drops full receipts on Democrat rhetoric That inspired another attempt on his life. And he even mentions uh, Kamala's Ellen's Ellen uh, interview right there as well. Beijing Biden, too, as well. Now, they do have video here, folks, of um, real quick. Of the cops arresting. And it's actually the sheriff's department arresting. um, um, Ralph the would-be assassin of President Trump. Listen in. Keep walking! I believe that's body cam footage. Yeah. Right there, guys. I believe there's another, um, another angle of that also as well. But just want to show you guys that since it was already right there. Now, this is from DonaldJTrump.com. Democrats' rhetoric inspired another attempt on President Trump's life. And boy, there's a lot of them right here, man. A lot. A ton 
right here on this page. Says yesterday, President Donald J. Trump was the target of a second assassination attempt in as many months. Thankfully, the would-be assassin was stopped by the heroic action of law enforcement. But, but make no mistake, this psycho was edged on by the rhetoric and lies that have flowed from Kamala Harris, Democrats, and their fake news allies for years. Democrats use increasingly incendiary rhetoric against President Trump in the days, weeks, and months leading up to the two assassination attempts. Uh, right here, Kamala Harris repeatedly, Trump is a threat to our democracy and fundamental freedoms. And also the assassin, the second assassin, was repeating the same thing. Threat to democracy, democracy, democracy is on the ballot. And then another one here from Kamala Harris. It's on us to recognize the threat Trump poses. Kamala Harris again. Does one of us have to come out alive? Ha 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 ha. You guys already saw that in the Ellen video right there. Now, Beijing Biden. Beijing Biden this year. It's time to put Trump in a bullseye. The media. No backlash whatsoever for uh, Beijing Biden actually saying that. None. They let Beijing Biden say that. And Trump has a long list here of stuff that uh, Biden has said. Um, Beijing Biden. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Trump is a threat to this nation. Uh, there is one existential threat. It's Donald Trump. Trump is a genuine threat to this nation. He's literally a threat to everything America stands for. Uh, Trump and MAGA Republicans are a threat to the very soul of this country. Uh, Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundation of our republic, and that is a threat to this country. Tampon Tim here. Are Republicans a threat to democracy? Yes. Are they going to put people's lives in danger? Yes. And some of these other people, man, uh, they got a Gwen Walls right here. When did she say this here? Bye bye, Donald Trump. I don't know when she said that. That's Tim Walls' um, wife right there. Don't know exactly what she meant by that. The other stuff to me is uh, pretty clear. Okay. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, Trump is a threat to our democracy. Is a threat to our democracy of the kind that we have not seen. Uh, Jasmine Crockett, man, uh, she may be the uh, the black version of AOC, man. I mean, she is a loud mouth from up there in Dallas, man. MAGA in general, there are threats to us domestically. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things right here, man. Maxine Waters, um, you know, talked about her. But right here, uh, she says, are Trump supporters preparing, preparing a civil war against us? I want to know all of those right wing organizations that Trump is connected with who are training up in the hills somewhere. Yeah. Crazy, man. Crazy. This, my friends, is a long, long list right here. Um, Oh, got Hakeem Jeffries right here. Now, oh, these are a list of things people said, I believe, after the assassination assassination attempt it says. Meanwhile, the deplorable commentary from Democrats and the fake news in the aftermath of the latest assassination attempt has been even worse. Hakeem Jeffries, we must stop Trump. Yeah, these I haven't really seen. Now, I know Hakeem Je Jeffries um, yesterday um, wrote some very, very bad stuff. Right after the second assassination attempt. Yeah, let's to hold. I mentioned him in my first video here from uh, NBC Not News says today's apparent assassination attempt comes amid increasingly fierce uh, rhetoric on the campaign trail. Mr. Trump is running mate J.D. Vance continue to make baseless claims, uh, mainly referring to um, the uh, the illegals in Ohio eating up cats and stuff. Yeah, Trump's not wrong about that. Remember, that actually came from not Donald Trump, but actually from residents in the area that actually saw people 
eating the cats, eating adults. Yes, not just white people, black people as well. Yeah. Um, let's see here. NBC News golf course incident. That's what they said after President Trump could have got assassinated. I'm wondering, folks, um, what would the Democrats and the media establishment be saying if the uh, would be assassin actually succeeded? I'm curious about that. I believe people like uh, Lester Holt would actually have blood on his hands. I mean, these Democrats and Democrat um, propagandists, people hear this stuff, man. And there's some sick people out there. They're going to believe whatever the media tells them. That's sad, man. I mean, trust in the media really is at an all time low. And it should be because the media just lies, man. They lie. You actually have a candidate for president that nobody voted for, by the way. Remember, no one voted for Kamala Harris. No Democrat voted for it. She never got one single primary vote. The Democrats overthrew democracy in their own party, but yet they're always talking about democracy. Funny how that works, right? Very, very funny how that works. It's sickening, man. She joked about killing President Trump. Yeah, that rhetoric right there, man, coming back to haunt Kamala Harris. The media, mainstream media, they're not going to bring it up. I mean, even on the Ellen show, man, they joked about it. They joked about it. President Trump, 2018, a sitting president. She joked and laughed about it. Kamala Harris at that time, I believe, was in the Senate. Yes, the most left wing person in the Senate sat there and cackled about fantasizing about about killing the sitting president. I got a problem with that, guys. I got a major, major problem with that. But I'm going to leave right there, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.